video, we'll take a look at how you can install Sparkler on Ubuntu. Now, um, I'm going to keep this video as short as possible, so I'm making a few assumptions. So I'm assuming you have an Ubuntu machine already in place, uh, which already has R installed, and um, the other dependency that uh, Sparkler has in addition to R is uh, particularly, obviously, when you're working with Spark, you need to have Java installed. So there are steps in here to install Java. So let's get started. Um, so uh, again, assuming that you have R installed, if you're not aware, you can just run R, which R, and it'll tell you if you already have R installed or not. If not, uh, you'll find other videos in uh, my library which show you how you can install R on Ubuntu. Let's go ahead and uh, install Java. So I'm installing Java uh, 8. Um, so um, much of the steps here, uh, or pretty much all these steps here, you can find in the description of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, run these commands. And um, I'm going to pause the video as it might take a bit of time for me to go through all these commands. And then we'll resume uh, once uh, all these uh, steps for Java has been completed. Alright, so the first uh, step of commands has been uh, run. So basically we have uh, Java installed and to verify you can run Java version and it should tell you that uh, we have uh, Java 1.8 installed. Uh, the next step is to install Sparkler. Uh, again, um, all of this could have been in one single bash script and we could have run it in one shot. Uh, again, I'm, I'm just going to go through this uh, step by step and uh, install the rest of the scripts now. While, uh, while it's installing, uh, worthwhile explaining, uh, while I was uh, trying to install Sparkler um, as per the uh, suggested approach on the, the R Studio website, all, all they were requesting us to run install packages Sparkler. Uh, how I found that it typically failed in a couple of instances, which is why I've added uh, these two additional uh, app get commands here so that the prerequisite libraries are installed. Uh, again, um, it, you may find that, again, it depends on your particular uh, version of Ubuntu that you're running. Uh, in my case, I'm running Ubuntu 16.04. Uh, uh, I needed to install uh, these two additional packages. Uh, all right, so while that's uh, processing in the background, uh, I'll wait for that to complete and uh, we'll resume the video once that's done. So it looks like the last step, uh, which was uh, installing uh, the Sparkler uh, package has completed and uh, out of all these uh, various steps that's the one that's bound to take the longest uh, it'll probably take anywhere between uh, 15 to 20 minutes uh, for the installation to complete. I did notice a few warnings that uh, came up uh, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem it shouldn't get in the way um, so the the last step is to verify if uh, Sparkler has indeed been um, installed um, the, um, here I have um, an R server instance, uh, I'm sorry, an R studio server instance running or um, you don't necessarily need a GUI tool to verify. Um, again, uh, if you're uh, an R user, you'll obviously be familiar with uh, the R uh, CLI uh, application. So you could run it either from the GUI or uh, natively from the console. So let's uh, Let's see if uh, we can open up the library. And again, you might see a few warnings that come up. Uh, it's just uh, informing you that um, uh, some of the uh, libraries have been uh, replaced, uh, but uh, that shouldn't get in the way of us uh, using um, our, uh, I'm sorry, Sparkler um, and uh, do some testing. Um, so where do we go from here? So, so far we have uh, only installed Sparkler and we have seen that it's uh, been installed. We can access it from within an R environment, um, but uh, we are not done with it yet. Uh, in the next video in the series, we'll take a look at how you can work with Sparkler. 
now again, uh, your mileage might vary. Uh, so depending on whether you already have an environment um, such as a, a Yarn environment uh, with Spark already installed, uh, you should be pretty much good to go. If not, uh, there are a few more steps uh, to go through before we can start using Sparkler, which we'll hopefully uh, look at in the next videos in the upcoming series. Thanks for watching.